This video is going to demonstrate building multiple pallets in SAP Business One with one transaction using Agility 360's Pallet Build Multiple. First, we're going to check out our item here in SAP Business One. We're going to be using item A00001. And if we check out our bin location content list, we're going to use bin 05D, which currently has 1,382 sitting in it. Now we're going to jump over to Agility Explorer and check out our inventory pallet view grid. This is going to show all of the pallets sitting in the warehouse in the Agility system. It's sorted by most recent, so whenever we create our new pallet and refresh, we'll see it appear at the top of this grid here. Now we can pull up our Agility 360 emulator, go to our distribution menu and switch over to pallets, and select our pallet build multiple form. Now from within here, first we're going to scan our item, A0001, our correct bin, O5D, and now we're going to enter in the quantity that will be on each pallet. We're going to do 8, and then the number of pallets, we're going to do 3, and hit enter. Now those pallets are created in the system. We can print a label to any printer in the warehouse after doing that. Now for this exercise, we're just going to bypass that. We're going to go ahead and check out our pallets here in Agility Explorer. We should see three new pallets. There they are, 9668, 669, and 670, all with that same item and a quantity of eight. If we jump back over to SAP here, we're just going to illustrate that those items are still existing in the same section of the warehouse. So I'm going to scan my item, pull up my bin location content list, if we go to O5D, we'll see that same quantity is sitting there in the warehouse. The only difference is they're now sitting on a pallet in the Weiss's system. Thank you for watching.